Hi guys, this is Ober from Citron Technologies. Today we have two special products. This is the official Raspberry Pi red and white color USB keyboard. It comes as a keyboard and also USB hub. As you can see, there are extra three USB port. And this is US layout 78 key. The feel is very nice. The tactile feel is very nice. The layout, the design is elegant. And this, look at the back. We have the Raspberry Pi logo at the center and some bumper and absorber. So when you put on the table, it has very good traction. It doesn't slip. And it comes with a USB cable, USB to micro. And this is type A cable. So later we will take a look at how to set up it. So the next one is the again official Raspberry Pi USB mouse. So three button mouse, center, a scroll wheel, and then the bottom. And a USB cable attached to it. So standard A type. Okay, let's start with setting up the keyboard. So I use the cable provided, very nice red cable. The micro USB, I'll connect to the micro USB port on the keyboard. It's like this. A very straightforward setup. I connect the keyboard to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. This is the micro B. This is type A. And to save the USB port on Raspberry Pi, for example, 3A Plus and 0 have only one USB port, you can connect the USB mouse to the USB hub over here. Okay, and I have power up. No driver is needed to install and it should be compatible across all computer and operating system. Okay, so let's just try to open the browser. Hopefully you can see it. I can use the mouse now and just to prove that I can use the keyboard. Let me just tap our URL which is Citron.io and enter it. And here you are our website and I would like to try something where I want to check whether the hub can actually power up a small device like a pen drive yup it can oh okay let me just click what is this Oh, we take time to read it. Okay. It should be, oh, Raspberry Pi logo. Some of the picture of uh, the keyboard and the mouse. So this proof, the keyboard and the mouse is function. And the mouse have a red infrared light at the bottom for the encoding. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumb up and share the video. As always, thanks for watching and see you in next video. Bye!